Hello, world folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. Following the news that King Charles could reduce the Duke of York's 250 grant and perhaps kick him off Windsor Estate, the King was accused of punishing his brother Andrew. Lady Victoria Hervey, a former girlfriend of Prince Andrew, has spoken out about the Duke of York's precarious position in the royal family. Lady Victoria has cautioned that the daggers are out for Andrew in the palace. Her own reports suggest that King Charles could cut his brother's grant, which could ultimately result him in leaving his royal lodge on Windsor Estate. Lady Victoria, a royal insider and socialite, briefly dated the now disgraced prince. She warned that Andrew faces a challenging reality now that his mother, the late Queen Elizabeth, is no longer there to shield him from backlash. In an interview with GB News, Lady Victoria explained that she believes Charles, as the older brother, has always been envious of Andrew, who had a successful military career for 20 years. I've heard that he's always been jealous of him. So as soon as the Queen's gone, the daggers are out, Lady Victoria said. Andrew is reportedly concerned about a decision from Charles to cut his annual grant in April. He allegedly has told friends that this would mean he could no longer maintain his current Windsor Royal Lodge. However, he has stubbornly insisted to those close to him he has no intention of leaving the Windsor estate. They've got time, but Charles has inherited how much money and yet can't help his brother out, Lady Victoria said, discussing the lodge at Windsor. Prince Andrew was stripped of his royal duties in 2019, following a disastrous interview with the BBC about his friendship with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Andrew has denied all allegations of wrongdoing and has not been charged with a crime. However, many have called Andrew to begin living within his means after he was forced to relinquish his role as a working royal. One royal expert, Norman Baker, told Mail Online that it's time for Andrew to start living within his means rather than expecting other people to subsidize his luxurious lifestyle. If he can't pay a commercial rent for the property with his own money, he should be evicted and relocated to somewhere much smaller. The taxpayer is subsidizing him, Baker said. Biographer Tom Bauer echoed this sentiment, saying Andrew's selfish behavior threatens King Charles' reputation, even the coronation. Andrew thinks that he can brazen out the bad predicament he himself created. The king's best solution is to force Andrew out of the vast house, accept much more modest accommodation, persuade him that his bid for rehabilitation is pointless, and in the end will be self-destructive, not only for himself, but for his two daughters. The fate of Prince Andrew remains uncertain, and the possibility of his being cut off from the royal family looms large. Lady Victoria warns Andrew now faces a harsh reality. Must find a way to support himself without the assistance of royal status. Remains to be seen whether he will be able to do so, or whether he will be able to continue to rely on the goodwill of others to maintain his lavish lifestyle. So what do you guys think about this news? Will Prince Andrew be forced out of the royal lodge on the Windsor estate? Following reports, King Charles could cut his grant? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.